Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be reviewing this. Say they're fans. There's two of them in here. And they're supposed to like repel mosquitoes and flies from like if you're having a picnic or you're eating outside or whatever. So let's open this up. Let's check it out. Okay guys, like I said, there should be two little fans in here, so let's get this opened up. Um, this was sent to me by a company, wanted me to try it out for them. And it's got a nice little tear thing here to, to open it. So, um, this is the same company, same people that sent me the, uh, the, um, conference uh, mic and speaker so, and here they are it's called the fly repellent fan There's my thing. <clears throat> which the, uh, the speaker mic is right behind me so all right let's go ahead and let's open this up nice again nice packaging little dent there nothing major um, lightweight reflective fan blades which I'll explain to you about that here in a minute it's noiseless fly repellent fan uh, chemical free and hangable you can also hang this thing so um, it just says fly repellent but I was reading on the website where it's supposed to repel mosquitoes um, but what it is, it's mostly for like flies. If you're sitting outside and uh, we all know what it's like to have a picnic, right? And you're sitting at the picnic table or whatnot, and you got your flies flying around. You're always going to like that. We all hate that. So it's packaged nice. Very nice. A little foam. Okay, we're going to open this up. We only need to do one right now. Here is the instructions or manual or whatever you want to call it. And not much to it. Okay, so we're going to take this out of the the bag here. So you can make it higher or lower. All right. Here's where the batteries go, right here. And here is your hanging part. I don't have nails because I'm a mechanic so and you can hang it as well so these instructions hold the smallest cylinder with your right hand and tighten it to the right and that says open Oh, I see. Like that. Okay. Then you can put it down there. Or you can put it down there. Okay, so. Alright. Take out the blade and align the holes at the top. Okay, let's see what this is here. Now here's the blade, right here. Like 
like that, and like that just pulls out. And then you're going to want to kind of roll this up backwards on itself. Kind of like that to kind of straighten them out. You know, it's packaged. So I'm going to do that. Okay, now these bright colored things here, what the theory is on these is that they, um, they're they supposed to like bend light, reflect light, which is unnatural in like nature or whatever. So the theory is that will help repel um, like flies and stuff coming in. I don't know. You know, if that's, if that really works, I don't, that's the claim. So I don't know. I, I've done a little research. It doesn't really, I can really find a definitive yes or no if that really works, but it does make sense. Okay. <clears throat> Take out the fan blade and align hole, align the holes at top. Open the battery cover, insert two AA batteries. They are not included, but I have a couple batteries. I'll get here in just a second. Turn the bottom switch to work. Turn on the bottom switch to work. Reminder, this is a hook at the bottom for hanging. So, and there's a picture of it there. So this goes. This goes up here, like that. All right, so now we're gonna put this on. Also, you can put essential oils down in here that also help uh, repel bugs. Feel click into place when you turn them so there's that and then you can lower just the one down and have it that low or you can lower it all the way down like that so let's get some batteries and let's put in here and let's check this out also as you can see these aren't metal or anything that's going to hurt you it will stop immediately I'll demonstrate that you know, like if you have kids or if you're like me and you're kind of clumsy, I'll be bumping that a lot. So let me get some batteries. Let's check this out. Okay, so let's put the batteries in here. We're going to open the bottom up. Just like that. Put this on. it up a little bit here like that and let's turn it on yeah that hurts that hurts none at all <laughs> if that makes sense but very safe um, I just took these off the charger I don't know how fast this thing is supposed to spin But it is quiet and I don't know if you can tell on the camera right about there you can see the different colors that's supposed to help repel and also you know a fly is not going to be able to fly down in there fast enough so what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside and I'll get some food or something to bring out we'll see if we can not attract flies because unfortunately there are no flies in this house and fortunately, there are no flies in this house. <laughs> so, 
if that makes sense. So fortunately for us, there's no flies in the house. But unfortunately for the video, there are no flies in the house. So let's take us outside, see if we can drum up a couple bugs to come around, start flying around, and then we'll turn this on and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so we're outside. I've got a piece of chicken here. I've got some soy sauce on it. And I've had it out here for about 15 minutes and I can't seem to draw any flies. So, but, just turn it on, set it down there, and the flies should stay away from this thing. And, if you need more, And turn the turn another one on that's hitting the tripod let me back up and there you go uh, it is breezy today that could be why there's no flies but usually when I'm out here barbecuing this is the table I use and when I set something down get it ready to put on a barbecue there's a lot of flies so hopefully these would help I was also thinking maybe if you have a soft drink or something and you know bees and flies always try to get into your soft drinks you know set one of these down by it and yeah I like I say the uh, the colors on them blades helps refract light or bend light or whatever it does and it's supposed to help kind of it because animals uh, insects and stuff don't like anything that's unnatural they they don't they don't really go near it and like I said I haven't researched that but it does kind of make sense but up here on the top, like I said, you can put essential oils down in there. And um, that will help repel flies and bees and whatnot. So, and they're kind of pleasing to look at. They're not um, real gaudy looking, you know. So, like I say, you can, you can touch them. It does not hurt a bit. So you don't have to worry about children being around. You don't have to worry about going to grabbing something and hitting your hand on it and getting hurt. So... Um, yeah, I, I will do further testing on this because uh, like I say, I barbecue a lot and these will come in really handy. So, there you guys go. Another product. A link to this particular product will be in the, the description below. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye guys and take care. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. I'm gone for now.